In this video we're going to look at what happens when you multiply and divide integers. And there are two scenarios that we're going to look at. The first one being that one number is negative and the other is positive. So we're going to pick a positive number, we'll pick 2 and a negative number, negative 3, putting it in brackets. And we're going to multiply these two numbers together and, and see what happens. So first I'll show you a quick method to solve these. And when I solve them, I look at the two numbers. So I've got a 2 and a 3, and I completely ignore the negative for now. What is 2 times 3? Well, 2 times 3 is 6. Nice and simple. After finding my solution, I then look at my negatives and count how many I have. I only have one negative. And if you only have one negative to the left of the equal sign, that means your solution will be a negative number. Okay, so why is this? Why does it become a negative solution? Well, let's look at it in another way. Let's look at 2 times negative 3 as adding 2 twice. Because if we multiply something by 2, it's the same as adding it twice. What is negative 3 plus negative 3? Well, in this scenario, you would start at the negative 3 on your number line, and you'd move 3 places to the left, landing on negative 6. So in both cases, we get negative 6. So what do we do when we have to divide two numbers? Well, let's take a negative number, negative 6, and we'll divide it by a positive number, 2. Now when you do this, you basically follow the same process we did when we did multiplication. You focus on the numbers, the 6 and the 2, and you divide them first. 6 divided 2 is 3. And then you look to the left of the equal sign, and you notice that we only have one negative, which means that our solution will also have a negative in front of it. We're going to now move on to the next situation, which is where both numbers are a negative. So we'll use the exact same numbers. We'll use 2 and 3, except this time they're both negative. And we're going to look at what happens when we multiply it. Following basically the same process, focusing on the numbers first, 2 times 3 is 6. Now this time we have two negatives, and we learned in a previous lesson that a double negative makes a positive when we're adding and subtracting. Well, it also applies to multiplication. Two negatives make a positive, so we just leave it as 6. Let's also apply this with division. Let's say we have negative 8 divided by negative 2. So first of all, we focus on the numbers and we go, all right, what is 8 divide 2? Well, that is 4. And because we have a double negative, our solution becomes a positive. And that concludes our video, just introducing the multiplication and division of integers.